Cy Young Award is obviously something that uh, you know I never thought I'd be able to do or be able to get the opportunity to even you know be in the same sentence with some of those guys that have won the Cy Young Award. But uh, you know, it was uh, it definitely uh, caught me off guard. Definitely never thought it'd be possible. But uh, it's just it's very humbling to get to get to have that award, and I don't know if it'll ever set in. To get to be a part of the Dodgers is uh, special, obviously the history there, and then uh, when you start thinking about some of the other pitchers, you know, not even just left-handed pitchers too, you know, Sandy Koufax obviously has, you know, been a mentor to me. He, I have a lot of respect for what he did on the field, and Fernando Valenzuela, and then you get into Oral Hershiser, and all these other guys that have, uh, you know, pitched well for the Dodgers and, uh, you know, taken them to World Series and things like that. It's a special group to be a part of. Getting to play baseball and uh, the blessing that it is to get to go play every day as a platform to, uh, you know, incorporate yourself with a lot of other different people that think baseball is cool, you know, and uh, fans of the game. And uh, you know, if you tell them that you're a follower of Christ, you're a Christian, things like that, uh, it can resonate with people a little bit more just because of the platform you do have. So, uh, you know, for me, it's uh, you know, talking about it's one thing, but uh, living it is the most important. My faith on the field uh, is reflected. Uh, you know, just in competitive nature, I think more than anything. You know, off the field is, you know, you just uh, you can kind of relax and be, you know, just the same old guy. But I think you kind of have to flip the switch when you're on the field. You don't have to have that all the time. But when you get out there, you know, I think uh, working at it with all your heart is something that, uh, you know, as we're working for God, not for the men. And uh, it's one of my favorite Bible verses. I think that uh, that resonates a lot with me when I'm on the field. You know, you got to work at it. Uh, God gave you the ability to do it, and uh, it's it's what, the only thing that's in your control is the work part of it. So that's uh, that's what I try and control. You go out there, and the four days in between your starts, you go out there and prepare the best you possibly can for your start. And you know, if it doesn't go your way the fifth fifth day when you pitch, at least you know you did everything you could to succeed, and uh, it just didn't work out that day. You really just got to love to compete. You just got to go out there and uh, you love to compete and. At the end of the day, have no regrets, you know, and so whether you have a good game or a bad game, you just kind of go out there and compete. What God's teaching me about my life is, uh, you know, there's a lot of things. You know, I think uh, first and foremost that uh, He's in control of it, uh, which is sometimes hard for me to grasp at times, but, you know, there's really nothing. Uh, you know, I can only try to live by His uh, His will, and uh, sometimes I try and stray from that, and sometimes I try and control things myself, and uh, instead of putting my trust in Him. And I think He's really teaching me to kind of let go of the reins a little bit. Uh, you know, just give Him complete access to my life, and uh, definitely something that I struggle with at times. But uh, I'm, just, I'm learning to get uh, to trust Him a little bit more. You know, He's all powerful. He, uh, you know, he, he sees so. You know, He brings joy to my life. He brings pain to my life, sorrow for my life, all for a purpose, you know, and I think uh, I'm trying to, instead of trying to figure that out all on my own, on my timing, uh, he's teaching me that, I, you know, I'm on his timing. I'm Clayton Kershaw, pitcher for the Los Angeles Dodgers and a follower of Jesus Christ.